Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Flyhawk models. As you can see this kit is modded in 1700 scale and it copies German light cruiser Königsberg 1940. You can see him uh, on the box art, it is quite beautiful box art by the way. And this is part of the Ace of Battlefleet series, it small sign uh, tells this. We also have several bonuses inside, so it means metal barrels, also Blackburn's Kua included and also several footage threads. And this is a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all, box size here is typical, here you can see comparison with my hand. And overall, I like the design of this box, here we have QR codes for different messengers and also kit info page and on the opposite side you can see some other kits from the same brand we reviewed them before so you can find their reviews on our YouTube channel let's open it it's a top opening box and here is what we have inside so as you remember Flyhawk usually includes this small painting of the uh, box art in form of separate let's say cardboard and it's really cool because you can use it I mean you can frame it and place it on your work table or you can use it in some different manner but here on the opposite side we have short history note in English Chinese and Japanese as far as I can understand and it's also quite handy idea for modelers because you get the small poster of the box art which can be used later that's a bonus point for sure then we have assembly menu on the top, obviously we will be checking it a bit later. Here we have also Blackburn uh, Skua kit, it will be also checked a bit later. What I would like to start with is the plastic stuff which is here. This is the metal weight and as you can see it should be placed right on the deck. So it will add some, let's say, feelings to the ship. It is up to you, uh, completely up to you if you want to use this metal weight or not, but I mean, that's a bonus, so it would be strange not to use it. Next, we go on with first clear plastic bag. As you can see, it comes sealed, so I'm going to use scissors in order to open it, and we will check closer what is hidden here. So it is obvious that it is full of small frames, and here, for example, we have two red guns. They are molded in 700 scale, so there is no surprise they're that tiny. But still, molding quality looks really cool. I mean, I didn't have any complaints about this, and you can see it with your own eyes. With careful painting, you will get really impressive result, in my opinion. Next, we go on with superstructure. First one, so here you can see that it is molded as a one-piece part. So it's just a matter of installing right on the deck and you are good to go. Next we continue with another sprue with several structures which will be placed on the deck. Again they are molded as a one piece element. So just separate them carefully of the sprue and you will be good to go as well. Next we have more of these one piece superstructures. That's really nice that Flyhawk usually molds them as a single piece elements. So it means you won't have to spend your time trying to align minor elements. You just take it place it on the deck and you're good to go. Okay, next we have slightly bigger plastic sprues, so we should zoom out a bit. And now we are going to use scissors because otherwise it will be almost impossible to open it. I mean, I will have to tear apart this plastic bag, what I don't want to do. So, here we have quite thin parts, so you should be extra careful with this. This is a 700 scale and here you can see comparison with my fingertip. They are really thin, so it might be necessary to use a plastic saw. Otherwise it will be almost impossible to separate them off the frame. But it is good that attachment points are thin enough in order to ensure that you just carefully saw them off and you won't have to you know, clean the parts if you do it properly. And next we have another plastic sprue. As you remember there were two plastic frames in this kit. So here we have fans and also we have the barrels. As far as I can see we have also some superstructures. We have also minor elements which will be detailed in the deck. And molding quality looks as good as on the previous frames. Here you can check everything closer. But some parts are so small that it will be uh, quite a test to install them on your model. 
Next we go on with another plastic bag, again sealed plastic bag, again I'm using scissors in order to open it. So again give me a moment and we will remove it out of the bag. So here we have one piece parts and why I'm a bit confused because these frames are usually replicated in some other kits with help of PE. Here we have them molded as a plastic parts which is really cool so it means you just separate them, install them on the top and you're good to go to install it on the ship. And each part is fixed on four thin attachment points so it's not that difficult to separate it and have it ready to be installed on your ship. Next here we have small parts. I'm not sure where this will go. We will have to check assembly manual but they are as good as previous stuff we saw in this kit. Okay. And one more here we have again super structures and again they're molded as a single piece elements so there is no surprise but it's really cool that uh, today manufacturers can mold such complex and small parts as a single piece out of the box and you won't have to waste your time with minor elements, at least here. Okay, another plastic sprue. This one is more concerned with turrets. So here you can see, for example, barrels and also some minor panels which will be placed on the turrets. And then we have turrets themselves. So these large bodies will have to be combined with barrels and as you can see we have cutouts, special ones and here you can see them from the opposite side. So obviously you have to combine the bottom and the top and then you will have it finished state. Next, another plastic bag. So a lot of separate sealed plastic bags. I'm going to cut through this one. Just give me a second. So what do we have here is the small plastic sprue with aircraft parts. So as you remember we have here a Blackburn Skua. So it is one 700 scale aircraft and it will be quite a tedious work to assemble it to have it in a proper state. Next we go on with some lifeboats which are placed on this ship. Of course they are molded as a single piece parts. So it's just a matter of separation and painting. Maybe you can even paint it on this proof. Here we have another one with the same set of parts. And one more. Actually the previous aircraft, I'm not sure if it was Blackburn Skua because I can see that we have more in the next plastic bag. Not this one, but after this one. So you will see it. But here we have more of the various parts for turrets so it means more barrels but these ones are even thinner so I'm not sure how to carefully separate this and have them ready to be installed here we have bigger guns obviously and this plastic sprue surprises with so tiny parts I mean it should be interesting where they will go next we have what I was talking about, we have here clear sprues and these ones, as far as I can guess, they will be used for the Blackburn Skua. So just give me a second to open it. Frankly speaking, I'm not sure why we have British aircraft here. So if you have something to comment about it, write it in the comment section. But I will show you in a second what do we have here. So first of all this is a clear plastic sprue which is quite unusual but here we have front deck which is molded as a single clear port so obviously you have to mask the clear elements and leave uh, them transparent next we go on with aircraft parts and the same goes here so we have canopy we have also wings molded out of clear parts and everything looks fine we even have some recessed panel lines which is <laughs> quite funny in such small size but still it is impressive to have such molding in a small scale. Next we go on with... I'm a bit confused what should be first. So first of all let's check this decal sheet which is packed into the separate plastic bag with ziplock. But it's not as easy to open as it might seem to be. I'm not sure why. Okay, now it is open. So what do we have here? 
First of all, it arrived slightly bent. I'm not sure why it was packed like this. I hope decals will be still usable. We also have cartograph printing uh, symbol, so it was printed in Italy, obviously. Note that swastika is made out of separate symbols, so you have to combine them and place them on the flag. It might be a bit tedious work, but there are no other options. And printing quality looks fine, as I said before, so we have all the necessary things. Next, we continue with something different, because here we have the hull parts. As you can see, they're wrapped in the foam. So, as you can guess, we have here one piece hull. And now I'm going to remove this rubber band in order to check what do we have here. So, let's unwrap it. Here we have the top deck. As you can see, it is molded just like this. And it looks fine, I would say. Next, we go on with another part. So, it's more of a sandwich, I would say. Just give me a second. I will remove this rubber band as well and this way we will be able to do it faster so here we have another deck again it is molded a single piece part as you can see it is quite long here you can see it from another side next we go on with this top insert which will be actually closing the main hull here so main hull should be glued out of two parts as you can see combined together and molding quality looks really cool so it's just a matter of maybe you can even leave these spars in the middle so that it will be um, more robust but it's really good looking how especially in such small scale and as you can see everything sits flush so you won't have any problems with fitment okay we take it away but that's not all because we also have the special plastic bag with various bonuses so it means PE thread and also these metal barrels so let's open it and note that we have separate assembly manual this is a bit strange because you will have to jump back and forth in order to oh it is like this you see so okay anyway no <laughs> need to open it so here we have metal barrels and various masts and as you can see these are machined metal barrels. Also here we have two more PE threads. These are unpainted PE threads and here we have another one. So it will tackle mostly external areas obviously. I can see that a lot of small parts will be actually replicated with PE parts. Of course railings will be replicated with PE parts. So be ready to work with this stuff. And then we have assembly manual, so first of all we have assembly manual for the ship itself. It is printed in color, we have um, parts map, small parts map here, also some safety devices before assembly. Everything starts with the top deck, then you combine all these layers together, as you can see with main hull, don't forget about the metal weight. Then we start assembling the turrets, they are installed on the front bowl. Then here we install mast and assemble the superstructure. Then we continue with installation of all this stuff on the main deck. And next we flip it over. Here we have the process of installing more of the parts and also turrets on the rear side. Next we have the aircraft assembly. So I guess that's a Rada R196. And here we have paints chart and also marking guide for the ship and for the aircraft okay I'm not sure why Flyhawk keeps using this vertical style of the layout it's not that easy to use I mean I would rather prefer brochure with um, normal layout like in the book so that you will have to follow page by page not by the fold out it's not that easy and it's not that um, good to have such large layout on the table. Next we go on with Blackburn Skua, so I guess it was included for the diorama scene. Here you can see assembly process, we can also assemble it with folded wings and here on the opposite side we have several marking options so that you can replicate them on your tiny aircraft and of course paints chart here. So as I said this kit should be already available for purchase 
in uh, for example official Flyhawk website and if you would like to get it just go there of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for watching and bye